Al Williams with another quick and dirty video to help you install Elf OS from Mike Riley and others onto the 1802 Black emulator running on a Pico, a Raspberry Pi Pico. This actually is on a Raspberry Pi Pico Plus, which has more memory, but I'm going to assume you have it all built and ready to go and you just need help installing. I'm going to speed through some of this video so you won't have to watch the disks formatting and everything, but let's go ahead and start at the prompt I hit show CPU which enters the meta monitor and I hit the backslash uh, back quote key and this menu looks different now but you'll see it gives you the options to format and set the maximum cylinders and I set the maximum cylinders to a hexadecimal number and then I exited and hit C to continue and that gets me back to the monitor. The next thing I've got to do is load the Elf OS RAM installer which the STG monitor just reads Intel hex files so if you just dump the Intel hex file over the terminal that'll work fine. The, S uh, the 1802 Black has a hardware UART so that makes it easier and you do a run of 3000 that gives you this installation menu and you tell it you want to do a full initialize on the disk that's basically like a format and I am gonna skip through some of this so you don't have to sit and watch it takes a little bit of time I don't remember how many cylinders I have on this video but I know for the 16 cylinders that I normally run it's pretty intense and it's not that bad but there's some compromises in the file system that make it a little worse than it could be So the next thing we've got to do is generate a file system and you'll see that it automatically calculates a number of parameters for you. So you really just have to press 2, hit enter, and it tells you how many sectors are in the disk, the allocation unit, where the directory is. Nothing really unbelievable there. That's relatively quick. And then you run the sys tool, which actually puts the bootloader and the kernel onto the disk and that takes a little bit longer but not too long and then you do the install binary I recommend you just install everything although you can always repeat these steps and come back and install more if you said no to something or if you corrupt something or erase something accidentally you can always come back here just enter menu item 4 immediately and run this so this is copying a bunch of binaries into the bin directory and it really does need to be the bin directory and I'm going to skip through a lot of this and then you tell it you can boot through to the OS it works however I'm going to immediately reboot and get back to the STG prompt and I'm going to load the supplement hex file and there's a couple of key things here that make it work for one thing there's the X modem read that works with the hardware UART which is XRB that's really important because without that you can't get anything from the outside world into the processor so basically it's going to be the same steps you're going to load that hex file instead of the original hex file and then it's going to give you the exact same menu when you do a run 3000 but you don't want to go through all the steps you just want to go through install software and so that'll give you a bunch of options. It won't give you as many. There'll be some new programs, and then there'll be some that are written over. And I'm going to skip through a lot of that as well. So now when you boot, you have a fully operational 0 0.30 version Elf OS running. I highly suggest you go through the upgrade steps to bring it up to a newer version kernel. There's a lot of nice features. It performs better. Uh, you can put the disk accelerator. You can read all about that in the Elf OS MD on the project GitHub. But I just wanted to let you see that there was a way to get there, and this is how to do it. So hopefully that helps. If you've got questions, post on the Elf, uh, Cosmic Elf list on Groups.io, and I will try to help, and I'm sure everybody else would be willing to offer their expertise as they did for me to get this far uh, and I'll look forward to hearing about your experiences.